Welcome to Scale Modeling Videos. In today's video, I take the contents of this box and turn them into this. This is the Hobby Boss 1x35 ZSL92 Bravo model kit. Let's get started. I have already done an inbox review of this model kit. To have a look at that, please see the link to the inbox review in the description of this video. This video is broken down into several chapters. Uh, to have a look at the chapters, please look at the uh, YouTube bar. Uh, and if you feel like you want to skip forward to any one of those chapters, feel free to do so. I will let the video explain most of the build process and I will talk in between now and then when necessary to do so.
build of the main body is now complete, it is now time to move on to the painting process. I have done a more uh, detailed uh, version of this part of the video in which I prime, pre-shade and apply the base color. It's called how to pre-shade a model. To, uh, uh, if you're interested in that video, you can find the link to that in the description.
I'm going to let uh, all the parts we've just painted, including the body, the small parts, the turret, dry for uh, at least uh, 24 hours before uh, we start the uh, gloss coat process. So here I'm gloss coating the model. Uh, so like I said previously, this I have waited 24 hours before I do this. Uh, I'm using Pledge Floor Care and I like to build it up slowly, radio. Uh, so I'm building it up slowly and as I do that I'll, I'll start to build a heavy coat as you'll see here. 
Uh, once I've uh, gloss coated the parts I need, I will then let them dry for another 24 hours. It's now been more than 24 hours and I am now applying a wash. This is SMS's black wash. This is an enamel based wash. I'm just going to apply it with a paintbrush all across the model, especially where the panel lines are and around the edges of raised detail. I will then clean it with an earbud dipped in Tamiya's X20 enamel thinner. I have let the wash dry for about 15 to 20 minutes and now I am cleaning it using several earbuds all dipped in Tamiya's uh, X20 and owl thinner. I've let the decals dry for 24 hours. Uh, I've then gone and done a lot of streaking effects to see how I did that. Look at the video in the top right hand corner there. I am now going to apply Alclad's clear coat matte to give the model a matte look and highlight everything that we've just done. After this, I will then conduct the final assembly of the model.
The model is now matte coated. I will let this dry for uh, 24 hours. Now I have done a video on how to paint and create lights, as you see here. To have a look at that, please look at the link in the top right hand corner there. Now I have painted uh, windows on this model as it did not come with clear parts. To see how I did that, look at the video in the top right hand corner there. I've also done another video on how to paint and create tools. Uh, as you see here, to have a look at that, please look at the video in the top right hand corner there. Now this uh, model came with uh, vinyl tires, which are actually made of uh, rubber. Uh, I actually made a video on how to weather these uh, and in doing so I also painted the wheel assemblies. To have a look at that video, please look at the link in the top right hand corner there.